Hi everyone, this video is primarily made for the test takers, basically user experience on how to take speech track test. The test, uh, before the, you know writing the test, check whether you have received the mail uh, with user credentials as well as the test URL. So you will have this URL, https speechtrack.mediatrack.com or also as MTACS. This URL, in short, uh, you have received the correct URL. The moment you click on this particular URL, you will have this particular page where it says about the requirements for the test engine. And if you meet the requirement, that's the minimum requirement. So I believe you will have those requirements. Ensure that you know uh, you are taking the test in uh, you know a laptop or desktop, whichever is uh, applicable to you. So uh, the moment you will click on Pariksha test player, you will uh, the moment you will click on here, you will have the test window. Okay where it will show your IP address and uh, you know uh, this we will be tracking your IP address for this. Then you will have the login ID and password which you would have got it from the mail. This answer put in your login ID and password. Put in your login and your ID and password. Check if it is a correct. Double check it before you proceed. Either you can copy paste it or you, you can type it. While copy pasting it, ensure that you know you are not copying space. Otherwise, it will show you uh, invalid credentials or uh, you know your, your login is not allowed. Contact admin. So this message will pop up. So I have entered the correct details. Then you need to click on I confirm my attendance followed by sign in. The moment you click on this. Uh, You can use either of the browsers. Uh, I think uh, there are no current batches. I've just tried to copy paste it. Hence, it would have taken, uh, you know, space. Well, just now I will type it. I will type it. Once you will be logged in successfully, you will be asked to fill your personal detail. I will put in here a, a dummy one. So, so you need to put your first name, last name, nationality. Uh, need to put, you need to put your, uh, I'll just put any anything uh, as an, so whatever, I'll just select any of the drop downs and then male, female, gender, date of birth you need to put in. And whatever is the correct date of birth you'll put in, then followed by that, there's a so there's a next button. Click on next. Your email ID is being asked. Put it your correct email ID. Your correct email ID. Key in your correct email ID. Cross check whether these details are correct. Okay, by moving here and this side. Then you finish once you're. Personal details are filled. You agree that you know you're validated and click on OK. The moment you click on your name, full name will appear here and your login ID will appear here. Then I click on continue. Then you will have the reading instructions. You have 10 minutes to read the instruction, but if you have read the instructions properly, uh, 56 questions, 30 minutes, there are site policies, etc., which you need to accept it further. And I have read it. Once you read all these instructions, you can click on start test. And this is your actual test screen. We'll wait for some time because it is loading certain things for me. Yes, you will then you will you must agree to these policies to continue using this site. Do you agree? I'll just agree it. Yes, you need to agree on this and submit it first. As you can see that your uh, timer has started from this is a 20 minutes test duration. Your name will appear here 
and your login ID. Will. Now, welcome to the. Tell me, we are going on. We have you will be basically checked on four or five parameters: pronunciation, grammar, vocab, the influency, then uh, spellings. Click on here with the start test. And and you will have the your first allow your microphone. Because you need to speak. So this is basically a complete communication, not the written English. You will have a radio button which will uh, talk about you need to how you need to record it and how you do it. Read the question carefully, read yourself, record yourself regarding reading. This is the recording button. The moment you click here, it will uh, you, then you can speak basically. So this is the first question. Basically, I will not go through all the 56 questions. Yeah, right. It, it basically checks the candidate communication, verbal communication. Uh, all the, these questions are designed such a way that it will check on the various parameters and it will uh, provide ratings on your uh, you know pronunciation verbal uh, vocab spellings grammar and fluency this five parameters it will uh, provide you a scoring at the end uh, which uh, for, for this course basically you will not be able to view it will be viewed uh, by the admin uh, so that just to if you want if you're ready with this to read yourself read the statement whatever is given in the instruction in the question read it properly and then if you have gone through that now you want to record it so click on this and speak so you can see that bar once i speaking it right now anything so you need to read this statement then i'll get behind him and start it so i have right so once you read this you just click on stop so it's saying the analysis pending recording recorded successfully moving on it, it, it went to the next question Similarly, you need to go through all the 56 questions. You cannot skip any question uh, and uh, you need to answer all the questions to get it evaluated. This is how uh, you need to uh, submit the test and post that once you go to the last question, you will have end button at the bottom. Uh, right now, I'm not going to write all the questions. You will have end button at the end, right? So this is how you will uh, basically uh, go through all the 56 questions and you will record your answers. If suppose you logged out because of some internet fluctuations, etc., you can re log in after three minutes. Uh, after three minutes, basically. So wait for the three minutes and re log in with the same care credentials with the same URL mentioned here. And it will direct you to the if you try to re-log in before three minutes, it will not allow. After three minutes, if you log in, it will allow you to get into that system again. And your test will resume with the same time, whatever timing you have remaining, exact the same time. So this is it. Thank you. So so uh, I'm not going to read all the questions. It will you you will see here uh, the uh, once you go to the 56th one, so you'll have and question will come here in the in but and button. You need to answer all the questions. That's one of the key. Uh, requirement for this. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you. All the best. You may hope you know you, you will have uh, a very successful test at the end, and uh, you will. Uh, this UI is pretty simple to use it. Thank you. With this, I'll just uh, stop this session, and.